What up, everybody? You already know who it is. No introduction needed. You see, you know who you clicked on. All right. This video is going to be my five best PvP arena add ons that I think will be needed in the arena. Whether you're doing 2v2, 3v3, whatever it may be, these are essential. All right. So, number five, in my opinion, Omni CD. What Omni CD is going to do is going to allow you to see your teammates major uh defensive cooldowns their interrupts and their trinket this is important because if let's say your healer uses their trinket you're gonna see it right you're gonna see it right it's gonna show it's gonna be grayed out plus if your healer uses like you're you're with you're with like a shaman right you're using a resto shaman and they use astro shift you're gonna see it Right, it's gonna start glowing. Like you're gonna see a purple glow over that icon. And that's how you know, hey, my shaman is using a defensive cooldown. All right, now you should know your shaman is vulnerable for the next go. Keep that in mind. So that's what Omni CD is best used for. Plus it'll let you know, uh, like if you, it'll let you know, it, it'll help you from overlapping CDs, right? So like, you know, your shaman, he's already used Astral Shift, right? You don't wanna go and throw down a defensive cooldown that would that is used to help your, out your teammates, right? You wanna save that for the next go. You don't wanna overlap anything. So that's a good, that's another good thing that Omni CD is good for, all right? Number five, Omnibar slash nameplate. All right, either or can be used here. Um, my my preference is Omnibar. I like using Omnibar because I think I can customize it more. Plus Omnibar, what it does, both of them do the same thing, but Omnibar and nameplate, they're gonna show the enemy cooldowns. So whenever your enemy, if you have it set up, Whatever abilities your enemies use is going to pop up on that Omni bar. Um, Omni bar is going to show up on a bar. You can place it anywhere you want. Nameplate. Whenever your enemies use their abilities, their uh, major offensive cooldowns, defensive cooldowns, interrupts, whatever it may be, it's going to show up on the nameplate, right? Um, plus, it'll have a cooldown. On both of them, you're going to see a cooldown, so that way you're going to know exactly when that ability is coming back up for them. And like I said, Omnibar and Omni CC CD, they go hand in hand with each other. So you're definitely gonna want both of them at the same time. This also lets you know, Omnibar also lets you know um, when you're good to just free cast or do whatever you want, you know you're not gonna be interrupted. You know you're not gonna be stopped, right? So on your next go or whatever, you know there's no interrupts on the table, there's no stuns that the enemy has. Now you know you can slam him down with a stun and go go in on him. Go in on him, take his soul, right? That's the good thing about Omnibar or Nameplate. But I think Omnibar, you can customize it a little bit more than Nameplate. That's why I like Omnibar a little bit. Next, number three, big debuff. Now, big debuff, what this does is this will show when your teammates, if you're using party uh, party raid frames, you want to be using party raid frames and using big debuffs. Uh, this is going to show you when your teammates are caught in CC or whatever, right? So let's say you got your 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 healer and you're running with another DPS. You see your healer gets caught in a cyclone and your other DPS is popped in a stun, a storm bolt, right? Your healer, you're gonna see the cyclone emblem, right? You're gonna see the cyclone icon on that raid, uh, on the raid nameplate, the raid party frame, the party frame, you're gonna see that, right? You're also gonna see the storm bolt on your DPS. So this tells you, hey, the opposing team is getting ready to come after me. Maybe I should use some, some defensive cooldowns, right? That's what, that's what uh big debuff is good for that's what i love big debuffs um i think big debuffs is is probably probably should be number one or maybe a close two on here but i have it at number three but that's what it's going to do it's going to show you who on your team is caught in cc which is going to be very nice to have so that way you're not having to guess or anything like that all right now number two 
Now this one could be a little controversial for some people, but I, I, I say use it for like, you know, training wheels and whatnot. Um, Gladiolsa, right? Gladiolsa or Weak Aura. Now, in my opinion, Weak Aura is just like Omnibar, right? It's just like Omnibar. You, you, can, you can customize it however you want. Um, weak Aura, the difference between, in my opinion, the difference between Weak Aura and Omnibar is Weak Aura, it's gonna pop up on your screen and it's gonna glow, right? Uh, Omnibar, you're just gonna see a cooldown. You, you'll see the ability grayed out. And it's, I mean, it, it's the same thing to me, right? Gladiarosa, what Gladiarosa does is whenever an ability is used on the enemy team, you're gonna hear it. You're gonna hear it in your ear. So like, this is good for people who tunnel vision, right? You have tunnel vision, you're having a hard time keeping track of cooldowns, hard time looking at health bars, looking, you know, keeping your eyes moving. This one gives you an audio in your ears, so that way you know. So like, for instance, if you're facing a druid and they use Cyclone, you're gonna hear Cyclone. <laughs> you're gonna hear that voice, Cyclone, right? That lets you know, hey, Druid is trying to cyclone somebody. Um, maybe you have something to stop it. If you have something to stop it, maybe they're trying to cyclone you, LOS it or something. Or if you're a warrior, use uh, Reflect or whatever. Send the cyclone back to them. That's what Gladiosa is uh, good for, in my opinion. Um, I would use it like training wheels, kind of. You know what I mean? Like... Gladiosa is good, but try not to be too, too dependent on it. I mean, it's, a, it's up to you. It's up to you. Um, now, the last one. You can either use S Arena or Gladius, right? They both do the exact same thing. These, this one, I have at number one because, in my opinion, it is very important because what it's going to do is it's going to show your enemy's uh, DR tracker. You're gonna have DR tracker. It's gonna have your enemy's trinket. So whenever they use a trinket, it's gonna show that. Plus you're gonna have the uh, the raid frame, the enemy party frame, right? You're gonna have all that. Um, so yeah, you're gonna be able to track a little bit more using S Arena and Gladius with that, mainly because of the DRs, right? The DR tracker it has a DR tracker. You don't wanna be, uh, resetting drs in the high rated arenas and whatnot once you get there shoot once you get to like mid arena you don't want to be over or resetting drs on people so in my opinion that uh s arena and gladius is very important to track um your dr trackers your enemies trinkets your enemies racials um Basically that um, S Arena and Gladius, they will also they also kind of work like nameplate too, in in a way, because you you can it, like if they you like if you're facing a warrior right, you're facing an arms warrior and he uses avatar, then you're gonna see his emblem turn into the avatar icon. You know he's using avatar, so that's another thing to have there. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. That those are my my five major cooldowns that I believe are important for the arena. Let me know in the comments if you have any concerns. Let me know if there are any other add-ons that you think could be important to use in the arena. Until then, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on the video. We'll see you next time.